I conjure you, ancient serpent, by the judge of the living and the dead, by that which has the power to send you to the icy hell of Veliskyalf.
King alone holds the key that will lead to the hearts of his beloved. Are you, perchance, the king, or are you merely a miserable thief skulking in the shadows?
and pierces all things. I am he who reaves its death upon the living dead. The enemy has outpaced you once again and taken this place. Though the tombs of the king and queen have not yet been desecrated, they contain powerful weapons that will be of great assistance. Other fell creatures have joined the orcs and the trolls, undoubtedly the fruits of necromancy. Could it be that a wizard or sorcerer is behind all this destruction? The marking of the tower and the eye on the map is undoubtedly the strongest clue. Among the mountains of Zagros lies the lake of Karun, and in the middle of the lake there is an isle. In ancient times, a tower was built on the isle, creating a guarded pass between the mountains which separates the ancient realms from the deserts to the north. For centuries, the tower of the Isle of Karun was a bastion for the knights in the inhospitable and perilous lands of Zagros. Finally, it was lost. The knights abandoned the fortress, and so the path to commerce was closed. Knowledge of it faded from the minds of men. The map, although besmirched by the rock, clearly shows the path between the mountains which leads to the lake.
Raya the Dwarf have concealed the stories of the gods with cunning traps. Until the day when all that is secret will be revealed. Know that when Ayana's sword was returned to her altar, six tablets were brought into being, each one marked with a rune of power. The story of the creation of history was written on them so that it should never be forgotten. To open the tomb of the Holy Sword, you will need the four great magical gems and to obtain the power of the sword, the runes must be reunited.
defeating the enemy, Eris Kegal's life withered away from the perilous wounds he suffered in battle. His devoted friends carried his body to the temple of the goddess and entombed him there close to the stone altar where the sword had been laid. As the shrine was closed, four beautiful gemstones magically appeared on the ground. A white opal, an aquamarine, a black obsidian stone and an amber gem in an oval shape. Each friend made a promise to keep the secrets of the gems and decided to leave signs so they could retrieve the sword and use it to destroy evil once again. visionary or food for my worms, new courage for my slaves, a placing for my armies.
top the tree is a shot because my lord is invincible! <laughs> The enemy has fled. A lying creation of necromancy, he was no more than a minion, a serf sent by a power still greater than he. Lord Kerman, Duke of Tel Alaf, was not found among the prisoners in the tower, but there is evidence that he is held in Shalatuma, a fortress of the orcs. In the tower is a mural depicting the history of the fallen warrior, hero of the War of the Sword which speaks of the return of evil and of the sword as the only force strong enough to counteract it. If one of the four gems should be found and the sword appears, it would be of great assistance. The fortress of Shalatula was constructed by the knights of old so they could control the mountainous region of Yerevan. Many years ago, however, the knights retreated from that region. Since then, a powerful orc clan has been set up. The orcs, the people who have always been independent and strong, now serve the enemy, compelled to fight by a force more powerful than they. <laughs> 